When I was diagnosed with advanced stage kidney disease and was told to prepare for dialysis, I thought my life was over. But then I started taking one vitamin, 600 milligrams a day, and it made all the difference. Today, I'm safely in stage three. Catherine here, I found the double O kidney almost 10 years ago now, and one of the experiences I treasure the most is receiving messages and comments from you guys telling me about your success stories with CKD. CKD is a chronic disease which is not supposed to be curable. Still, some people can. Today's video is really special because it's all about your success stories. In the past few years, I've exchanged emails, messages, and even interviewed many patients with incredible stories. So what I want to do today is not just to share with you their stories. I want to extract the four best pieces of advice, what mattered the most for these four survivors. This is how these people have beaten chronic kidney disease, lowered their creatinine levels, and improved their kidney function. My kidney doctor, my family doctor, and my vascular surgeon all told me that kidney disease was only going to head one way, to dialysis. My GFR dropped as follows, 68%, 62%, 58%, 52%. The doctors were right after all. Okay, this comment was posted here on Double Kini from one of you guys, and it really surprised me. Let's see why. Then I was lucky to discover Catherine's channel, and I found out that there are things you can do to slow down kidney disease. It gave me an immense sense of hope. I've turned my life around. I started waking up early and go jogging every day. I've stopped eating meat and salt. It's hard. I still mistake, but I went for a blood test two weeks ago and found my surprise, and especially that of the doctor that my filtration level was 70%. Yes, that is 70%. Yes, this is possible. Our first subscriber story is from Mirko, 62 years old, retired tradesman as he calls himself. And yes, you may see why I think this story is amazing. I've contacted Mirko, he's from Italy, just like me. After reading his comment and I've learned a bit more about his incredible journey, can you believe he got his kidney function back to 70%? So I asked him this question. You started certain good habits and all of them seem to have helped you. Which one do you believe made the most significant difference in your journey to be kidney disease? Well, Mirko told me that stopping eating steak was probably the most important thing he did. And his doctor confirmed that. And I wasn't surprised by that answer. You know, a diet that is very low in protein, like what Mirko is doing, is what nephrologists call the VLPD or very low protein diet treatment. This is a therapy mostly used for treating advanced stage pre-dialysis kidney disease. In Italy, the VLPD is routinely prescribed and it is showing impressive results. And I've met people who have been in stage 4 for 20 years without significant deterioration of their kidney function, all thanks to the VLPD. Now, if you want to know more about this miraculous treatment, my video up here has all the info you need. Okay guys, here's an easy practical tip that made all the difference for George, a naturopath who is suffering from diabetes and a subscriber of Double O Kini. After a very frightening diagnosis, he was able to turn his life around. Yes, George was able to reverse his kidney disease and get back in a safe and stable stage 3A with basically no symptoms. Here's what made all the difference for him. I'm a living example of lifestyle changes and good habits leading to reversed CKD. After a biking accident, I started taking ibuprofen pills. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. My new nephrologist told me this was nothing to worry about and virtually in the same breath started talking about the possibility of dialysis. Yes, things were going really bad for him. But then he was able to find hope and to use his newfound hope to improve his health. Sorry, not good enough for me, so I started some research of my own. A lot of my results denied the statements often made by doctors. Things like only drugs may help, kidneys cannot be repaired. 
I do not believe in it cannot be done. I do not give up without a fight. So I started doing it my own way. And this is how he concluded his first message. My kidney problem is now starting to go into remission and my nephrologist had to admit that my good habits worked. I have done it. It is a curable disease after all. Okay guys, this is an incredibly inspiring success story in my opinion. And when I asked George what made the biggest difference, his answer was categorical. When I started taking one vitamin, I have seen the biggest difference. It helped easing the itching caused by kidney disease. In just three weeks, the symptoms were much less noticeable. The remedy he's talking about is called alpha lipoic acid. Okay guys, this is one of the natural remedies that is suffering some of the biggest breakthroughs in the treatment of kidney disease. Alpha lipoic acid is a powerful antioxidant and in my opinion, it's one of the best kidney healing nutrients available. According to research, taking alpha lipoic acid helps increase cellular kidney energy for healing, assists detoxification from heavy metals, can be used in the treatment of cardiovascular disease and much more. It's not technically a vitamin, but some people refer to it as one because alpha lipoic acid also helps kind of recycle used vitamins and minerals. This way they can be utilized once more in the body. In particular, if you have diabetic kidney disease, alpha lipoic acid protects the kidneys against diabetic glomerular damage and it can also improve insulin sensitivity. And most importantly, alpha lipoic acid has been shown in a recent study capable of reversing kidney disease in certain patients. The next success story is from Mac. Mac is a 57 year old school teacher. He's married and has three children. Two years ago, Mac was diagnosed with stage four CKD. Then he made one change to his day-to-day -day life. He added one special food to his diet. When Mac firstly contacted me on Double Okini, I immediately asked him to tell me more about what happened to him. So let's learn a bit more about Mac's life and his journey with kidney disease. When I was diagnosed with advanced stage kidney disease and was told to prepare for dialysis, I thought my life was over. But making these changes to my day-to-day -day life made all the difference. Yes, you heard it right. Mac was in stage four just two years ago. This is how Mac discovered he had kidney problems. I was a pretty typical person. I enjoyed eating fast food from time to time and drinking sodas. I never paid no attention to my kidney health. But then my diabetes started to act up. My doctor started to prescribe me several medications I never had before. In 2019, I started getting very sick. My blood pressure was out of control. I was very nauseous and I couldn't keep any food down. All at once, I was risking dialysis. That is the moment it all became real to me. I have a family. I have a job I love. And dialysis will be an impossible burden for my family. Now, the incredible part, Mac was able, thanks to certain changes to his diet and lifestyle, to avoid dialysis and to get a large portion of his kidney function back. So I asked him what made all the biggest difference in his treatment. His answer will surprise you. To me, this food is a miracle from God. It's not just another vegetable, it's something with a power so profound I can't even explain. Okay guys, I almost jumped out of my chair when I understood what Mac was describing. This is bitter melon. It looks and tastes a little like a cucumber, but is very bitter, hence the name. It's great to add it to your diet even if you don't have diabetes. This food has many healing properties. It can help lowering cholesterol levels and it helps with weight loss. It's also incredibly rich in vitamin C. The reason why it helped Mac is because it can lower your blood sugar levels. Bitter melon has several natural compounds that act like insulin and help you fight diabetes. Bitter melon is incredibly powerful, but if you want to know more about foods that actually fight diabetes, watch my video up here. This is the last subscriber for today and he comes with a true message of hope. Okay guys, this is a message from Joseph, one of my subscribers. He was in stage four and he was able to reverse kidney disease thanks to the habits he developed in just a few months. 
My name is Joseph and I've been diagnosed with CKD four years ago. At the time, my GFR was around 27. My labs were a mess and I had no idea anything was wrong. My function was getting worse over time despite all the pills I was taking. I was hovering around 17 or so. This lasted for three years until I started following your channel. I cannot express in words how much hope you gave me. I never knew there are things you can do to slow down kidney disease. I've turned my life around. In just eight months, I was feeling better than I ever did in the last four years. Then I went for a blood test two months ago and my doctor was very glad to let me know that my GFR was back at 41. Guys, keeping your body free from toxins, chemicals, and harmful substances is key if you are serious about repairing your kidneys. What many people don't know is that keeping your mind free from toxic thoughts is just as important. Joseph was able to get better when he found hope. Never underestimate the power of your mind when it comes to your health. By the way, guys, I know that a lot of you watching me right now had positive, inspiring success stories with kidney disease. I know this because I love reading your comments. They're my inspiration. So if you want to share your story too, this is the place. Let me know in comment section so we can talk about it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.